good morning children we will discuss about the computer system we will discuss about the computer system we know about that the machines computer is also machines but the what is the difference the computer computer and the some another electric machines computer is a designed for a special purpose and some fixed functions they accept instruction to perform some specific task and machine fan is also machine freeze is also machines cooler is also machines now we will learn about the how does a computer works computer works on ipo cycle that is input processing output input processing output input means that data we are putting something and processing means some process is going some work is going on and that output means result that is output means result later we will discuss about the data what is data what is output what is processing we will discuss about the later now we will learn about the computer system we will learn about the computer system that is hardware and software hardware and software each page number you have to read you have to read very carefully and you have to understand i will touch the every point here hardware means the physical component of the hardware physical component of the computer that is hardware we can touch we can touch the computer hard, uh, that physical component of the hardware that is that is hardware and we cannot touch part of the computer that is software that is software software inside the computer which we seen about the uh, graphics we seen we can see the examples of hardware that is mouse mouse computer cpu and some extra more and more things which we can touch and software we cannot touch we will discuss about the software software also has divided into two types parts of two parts has divided into software we will know about the software what is software software is a set of instruction set of instructions programs and help us helps a computer to function is called a software a program is helps to computer to perform something to give the function something that is software no now we will learn about the that uh, system software system software and application software this is the two parts of the software system software and application software system software that comes the operating system that is operating system we cannot switch even switch on the computer also that is operating system operating system system that manages hardware and software of a computer system operating system that manages hardware and software that computer system as for example of that operating system that is windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 has given the mobile and web phone it given here also given you have to read the all the page number which are given page number 10 11 12 13 you have to read very carefully and now the application software application software it allows the user to perform a specific task with the help of system software that example ms word ms powerpoint ms pet windows media we are playing game also on the computer that etc now we will learn about the cpu that is central processing unit central processing unit page number 14 page number 14 central processing unit it is known as a brain of computer cpu is known as the brain of computer system like human beings human beings it's taking decision human beings taking decision similarly in a computer system all decisions are made by cpu the cpu also controls all the units of computer system cpu is also divided into three parts cpu is also divided into three parts that is mu cu and alu mu cu and alu mu stands for memory unit and cu stands for control unit and alu stands for arithmetic logic unit arithmetic logic unit we will learn about the what is the use of arithmetic logic unit 
and what is the use of control unit and what is a memory unit arithmetic logic unit it performs the calculations in computer arithmetic logic unit it performs the calculation calculation arithmetic calculations and control unit the control unit controls each and every part of computer system it takes data and instruction from the memory and instruct various part of computer system to act accordingly you have to read students you have to read your pages number 15 very carefully now we will learn about the see memory unit the data and instructions which are entered into a computer system through input units have to be stored inside the computer before the actual processing start i already told you that i we will learn about the data memory and some another things we will see the later i will discuss about this one also what is data what is input devices what is output i will i will tell to you now we will learn about the computer memory computer memory memory is the basic unit of computer where it stores data and instructions based on the above mentioned function store storage units are of two types computer memory it also is also stores the some data some information data means information as you can learn data means informations computer memory also two types there are two types of computer memory that first one primary memory second secondary memory primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is also called primary memory is also called internal memory and secondary memory is also called external memory internal memory means that which memory we can put inside the computer that is ram and rom that is ram and rom and in external memory it means that outside of the memory external means outside of the computer memory that is cd dvd pen drive hard disk like that turn the page number 16 page number 16 we we already about seen that computer memory two types of computer memory, primary memory and secondary memory primary memory primary memory ram and rom comes inside the primary memory ram and roms comes the primary memory ram stands for random access memory and rom stands for read only memory read only memory secondary memory secondary memory that is mass storage that is also that is example of the secondary memory that is pen drive cd dvd and hard disk like that let's turn your page number 10 page number 10 that is i told about that already told that we will learn about the data input input devices output output devices so what is the data what is the data a collection of facts and figures is said to be the data the data is fed into the computer we can say this is also data but this is not we cannot fit in the inside the computer this is a copy we can write it. this pen is also data but we cannot fit inside the computer input what is the input input means that we are something putting inside the computer we are something putting inside the computer the data or instructions that's given to the computer is called the input here we will see page number 11 input device input device i told that two types of devices that is input devices output devices input devices output devices first input devices what is the input devices the part of computer that help us to fit data into the computer are called input devices examples memory sorry memory keyboard mouse and what is output the final result we get after the processing that is data that is data we um, data by a computer as turn as a output as for example we can see in a uh, printer we are what we are doing print from printer we are printing some pages that is the output that is the output and now we will learn about the output devices what is the output devices the part of computer that gives the result are called output devices like that monitor printer i told already about the output printer printer is the output devices 
and you have to turn the page number 17 17 17 from that page numbers given that knowledge booster knowledge booster father of computer that is charles babbage we charles babbage is known as the father of computer that that uh, that uh, brown pages brown pages we have to uh, read very carefully and now next chapter at a glance chapter at a glance you have to he has given 10 chapter at a glance 10 points given that you have to read very carefully from that things you can read you can catch you can solve the one word you can all one word solve solve the i have already shared the one words on the whatsapp group i hope that everyone have study about the one word one word you have to fill up in the book only and question answer i will i will write on the copies and i will share on the whatsapp group you have to uh, write in the cda book question answer question answer is only you have to write in the book this all the one words page number this 19 you have to read the uh, write the book only and question answer you have to write write the cda book that's good okay that's all